Welcome to Tech Brothers Damir. In this video, we are going to learn about external data operator. External data operator returns the table whose schema is defined in a query itself and whose data is read from external storage artifact such as blob in storage and file in Azure Data Lake storage. Now, let's go ahead and take a look. First of all, what we are going to do, we are going to upload a file to the blob storage and then we are going to read that file in the Kusto query. So this is file, this has ID, first name, last name, and very just uh, uh, four, three records right there. So what I'm gonna do here, first of all, I'm gonna go to the Azure portal, and here I'm gonna create a blob storage. Now, once I create the blob storage, I will be creating container and then loading the file. Let's just select the name for our storage, and here I already had TechBrush storage, and let's create this uh, storage. Hit create button. Our storage is ready. Let's go to the resource. Uh, and now what we are going to do, we are going to click on containers. Uh, once you click on containers, uh, what we will do, we will create a container. And uh, I'm going to give a name called the input container. You can give any proper name, whatever you want. Uh, but in my case, the input is just fine. Uh, now let's upload the file, uh, customer file, uh, to the in input container. Uh, click right there, upload, and uh, browse to the folder. And uh, then we will get the customer file there, customerfiles.txt. Our file is uh, uploaded uh, and now we are all set uh, to read this file. Uh, there are certain things what we need to do uh, before we read that. Uh, so let's go to the Kusto here and uh, I have already prepared uh, some code here. So this is how it is going to work. Uh, you're going to say external data, then uh, you're going to provide a list of the columns. Uh, so in the, here in the example user ID, I just said the string uh, and uh, then uh, you have to provide uh, the file path and then you will provide the SS token. Uh, so that's what you need to provide it here. So now in our external data, if you remember that, uh, we have ID, first name, last name. Uh, so we have three columns in our file. Uh, now what we have to do, we have to get the file path. Uh, so I'm going to go back here uh, and uh, here uh, go to the portal. In the portal, uh, that's our file. Go to three dots here, go to the properties uh, and here is our file path. Um, so copy the URL. That's where we copied and go back to your Kusto and here uh, we will just uh, select everything here and just paste. So that's where you're going to paste your uh, file path. Now we are going to create the SS token and provide it here. So let's go back to our blob storage. And here we will go to the S generate SS. So now we are going to go to the generate SS token and URL. Click right there and blob SS token is ready. So you see that it started with SP and uh, then we have a rest of the token. Copy that and go back to your Kusto. Here, uh, what we are going to do, we are going to copy this whole thing after the question mark. Remember right there, that's where we need to paste it. Um, so I already had pasted, that's why it is showing you. So I'm just going to delete this part. Uh, so this is going to stay as it is, this part. And then after the question mark, you're going to paste that uh, SS uh, token. Uh, now. You will close the parentheses. So here you are starting the uh, square brackets and here you are closing it. And then you say with ignore first record. Why? Because uh, we have the first row as a header. So I don't want to read that header as a data. So let's execute this and it should just uh, work fine and return us uh, some records. So it is returning us three records. See right there, Amish, Azad, Raza. Ali and Heather uh, Ali's. So let's go back and uh, update uh, this uh, file. Let's put some more records there. And uh, now I'm going to go for four and uh, Robert and Ledson. Okay. So just uh, these four records are just fine. I'm going to put that there. Or uh, actually, we could have a simply state go ahead and uh, update the file itself. So let me close this and we can simply open and do edit here and uh, view edit and uh, then we can change the data here so right there let's say we want to make some changes so number four robert you know robert ladson okay so we save uh, the file and uh, then we go ahead and close it and we can go back to Kusto, read on our query and now we should see four records. Um, see right there, Robert Ladson. So this is how you will read the data in Kusto or Azure Data Explorer uh, by using Kusto query from the blob storage. Um, I will put the script in the description. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.